In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete all season 2 challenges in Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. Before we start, I want to mention you can and you should combine some challenges for more efficiency. I mean, it's a great idea to reach a certain level first and only then start doing them. So, let's start with the level 0 challenge called the Dependable Method. Get 50 eliminations with primary weapons. I was surprised as well that you only need 50 kills. Anyways, any weapon counts, expect handguns, launchers and melee weapons. For example, I use the Reagan. The level 10 challenge is Void Walker. Survive 100 total void objective runs. This challenge is going to be really time consuming and not only just to complete but to set up as well. Since you only have to survive, I'm going to be showing you the best setup. On Terra Maledicta you have to complete the entire story quest to get access to the void. However, on Terra Fang you only have to do two portal objectives. It's totally up to you which one you want to do, but I highly recommend saving this challenge for later and doing it on Terra Maledicta, because you can complete a lot of other cooling cards while you are surviving in the void. Here's the basic setup, your primary and starting weapon should be this Einhorn revolving shotgun with these attachments. Your secondary weapon should be the decimator shield, but you can replace it with the ray gun later on, if you get it. The best covenant setup is a legendary unholy grand, dead accurate and ammo gremlin, but you should not worry about the covenants when you first enter the void. The level 20 challenge is explosive finish, get 500 eliminations with launchers or equipment. Start your game with the MK11 launcher and camp inside the transmitter harvest objective to farm kills. Keep your distance from the zombies because the explosion can easily kill you. To prevent this you should use the bloodlust covenant and get melee kills with the launcher. The level 30 challenge is pure of heart. Upgrade your artifact by consuming 25 total hearts at the tomb of rituals. You get sacrificial hearts after completing an objective or you can get a single one per game by burying the corrupted heart on Terra Maledicta. Since you can only spend 4 hearts for upgrades in a single game, you have to play 7 games in total to finish the challenge. In the first 6, you must fully upgrade the artifact but in the last one you will only have to spend 1 heart and the calling card will pop up. The level 40 challenge is Power Killer. Get 5 or more rapid assault rifle kills 50 times. Start the game with any assault rifle and just gather 5 or more zombies in the half world or inside an objective and kill them rapidly. Then just keep repeating this until the cooling card pops up. The level 50 challenge is Fire Discipline. Get 100 total kills with the War Machine support. You can craft this weapon for 2500 salvages but it just doesn't worth it because if you are lucky you can get it from loot crates or Storm Kriegers and Zavalas can also drop it. You only have 18 grenades but milling the zombies also works. However, the most efficient way is to use it on full horde of zombies in the void. The level 60 challenge is Fool Me Once, eliminate 25 Zavalas. This new enemy starts spawning from run 6 onwards in both objectives and the half world on Terra Maledicta and Deramfang. She has 3 phases and you can only defeat her by destroying all 3 masks. Once a mask is destroyed, she is immune for a short period of time, but you can kill her in only 2 phases by trapping her at the end of the animation. This challenge can easily be completed inside the void objective using the shotgun, because after run 6 at least one Zabala is always going to spawn. The level 70 challenge is only the finest. Equip 3 legendary covenants in a single match 5 times. The closer you are to run 10, the higher the chances to get a legendary, so orange covenant from the altar of covenants. You have to play 5 games and equip any legendary covenant you can, but try going for the ones I mentioned in the void objective setup to combine the two challenges. The level 80 challenge is suppressing fire. Get 1000 eliminations with LMGs. I would do this one when I reach level 120 and only then camp inside the harvest or transmit objective to farm the kills. The level 90 challenge is Demolitionist. Use a piece of equipment to kill a Sturm Krieger 10 times. We can the Sturm Krieger using a normal weapon and when he is really low on head, use an equipment to kill it. This challenge can easily be done inside the void objective, but if you complete the antenna side easter egg on Terra Maledicta, you can spawn in 4 Sturm Kriegers at once. I recommend using throwing knives to finish them because you get back the knives after the Sturm Krieger died. The level 100 challenge is by the book, complete a ritual objective without allowing a ritual site to be destroyed 3 times. There is a typo here because this is actually the new sacrifice objective. This can easily be done during a single game session. Always choose a sacrifice objective and do not let the structure to consume more than 4 zombies, which means they simply cannot destroy it. 
Once the third sacrifice objective ends and all three structures are intact, you will get the calling card. The name of the level 110 challenge is currently unknown, but you have to get 75 kills with the incendiary grenades. This challenge cannot currently be completed because the incendiary grenades are not in zombies yet. However, when they fix it, I'm going to update my pinned comment under this video and here's the strat for later use anyways. Get some decoys alongside with incendiary grenades. I use thermite for demonstration. Mother load and scrapper covenants can also help a lot. Throw a decoy and then the incendiary to the middle of a horde. Do this inside the void objective or when you exfil. The level 120 challenge is called a Reaper. Get 1000 eliminations or more in a single game 3 times. Pretty easy challenge, you can combine it with the LMG kills or by surviving runs in the void in a few games. Sadly, there is no fast way to complete this one. The level 130 challenge is Shiur Shot. Get 150 critical kills with a pistol. Start the game with a pistol and use the biggest magazine available. The 1911 is a great choice because it has an 18 runs mag. You can complete this by doing other challenges, for example the 3 sacrifice objectives and just always aim for the head. The level 140 challenge is Clever Ruse. Use a monkey bomb to divert Zabala's electrical eruption 5 times. You have to throw a monkey bomb before she submerges to the ground, so while she is still moving around. When she submerges, she will destroy the monkey bomb like in the background footage. Mother load can help to keep your monkey bombs, but it's not necessary. Repeat this 5 times in total. The level 150 challenge is Wunderwar. Get 500 eliminations with Wonder weapons. When I mentioned to get the Decimator Shield and the Ray Gun, if it's possible, I was talking about this challenge. Inside the Terra Maledict Void, you can kill a full horde of zombies, like 15 to 20, with a single use of the Decimator Shield every 90 seconds. If you were lucky and get the Ray Gun, use it instead of the Shield, because it has been buffed recently and pretty good now. The level 160 challenge is Bigger Bang. Kill 10 or more enemies with a single explosion 3 times. This can be done easily because both the Decimator Shields Blast attack and the tier 3 Frost Blast activation comes into this challenge. The level 170 challenge is Overheating. Get 100 total kills with the Death Machine support. You can craft this weapon for 3000 salvages, but if you are lucky you can get it from loot crates, from enemies and there is a free one from the side easter egg on Terra Maledicta. Gather an entire horde of zombies in the void and slowly start shooting them. If you can manage your ammo, you should be able to do this with only one death machine. The level 180 challenge is full potential. Get 100 total kills with an artifact that has been upgraded to tier 3 or higher. Rose Blast is the best artifact to complete this challenge. Hoard up a lot of zombies and activate it in the middle to maximize the kills and just keep repeating this. And lastly, the level 190 challenge is called Drop the Hammer. Use a support or a wonder weapon to kill a Stern Krieger 10 times. This is pretty straightforward and you can kill countless Stern Kriegers in the void. If you use the Decimator Shield, weaken the Stern Krieger first. But in my opinion, the Death Machine is the best weapon to complete this challenge. And here's everything in overall. On the screen right now, you can see how can you complete all of these in only 7 games and what to do in which game. And that's it for this video. If you are new here and find this guide helpful, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.